Hey guys, and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute two zipper box pouch. This is perfect for your school supplies or your travel essentials or even just a really cute makeup bag. It's got two zippers that will have things completely separated. So there's two compartments. We have tabs on either side to help you to open and close it. And then this one also comes with a really handy handle. So if you want to hang it up, if you are traveling, I did make it without the handle, so that handle is of course completely optional, but I do find that the tabs are very important as it helps you to open the bag. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, first hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you are excited about making this beautiful bag, then don't forget to hit the like button. So all you need to do to get ready for this project is go over to my blog, which is charmedbyashley.com. I will have all the links for the materials and also the measurements, and then you can cut out all your pieces, and then you can meet me back here, and we can get into the tutorial. So if you're already ready to go, then let's get into it. Okay, so I'm only working with cotton fabric, and I cut out all my pieces. Here are the list of pieces that you will need. All that will be, of course, laid out for you on the blog post. But if you want to have a nice rigid bag, then I do suggest using an interfacing. I'm going to be using a fusible um, fleece interfacing. So if you are using a fusible fleece interfacing, then you do have the option of quilting it, making it a little bit more visually interesting. If not, you can use just a regular medium weight interfacing as well. So this is how I iron mine. I usually will start to iron from the center out to make sure there's no wrinkles. And then I did put a strip of interfacing on the middle piece. So that is um, Interfacing is only on all the exterior pieces. So now I'm going to be placing my first zipper. So we're using that middle piece that's on the top of the bag and we will put the zipper with the zipper pull down on top of that and then put your first piece of lining on top and make sure that if your lining does have a right side that your right sides are together. So I'm just going to use my zipper foot and I'm going to sew down one edge. And every time I sew a piece onto a zipper, I always flip it over and I do a top stitch. So I might not show every single um, clip of me sewing the actual zippers in, but just know that I flip it over like I did here and then I just do a top stitch about a millimeter away from the edge of the fabric. Hey guys, I just want to let you know that there will be a giveaway for this beautiful bag. So if you're interested, follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which is all linked below. I will be hosting the giveaway over at my Facebook. So go over there, like the page, and you can be entered to win this beautiful bag. So once you are finished doing this top stitch, then we can go over to the second zipper and we will install that one on the other side of that little strip of exterior fabric. So make sure that you put your next zipper with the zipper going the same way as the first one. And we're going to put that with the zipper pulled down on top of the exterior fabric. And then we'll put another piece of the lining on top. Again, making sure that if your lining has two different sides, that your lining and the exterior fabric are right sides together. And again, I'm going to sew along that zipper and install this one. So sometimes the zipper pull can get in the way if you're trying to finish sewing the zipper so you can just easily um, pull your zipper down and then you can continue sewing along. And then I flipped it with the right sides out and I will do a top stitch. Okay, so now we will work with the large piece of fabric which is our large exterior fabric and we will install that onto one side of the zipper. So I'm going to put, again, the zipper pulls are facing down on top of the fabric, and then I'll put the third piece of lining fabric on top. 
So I'm just going ahead and sewing this off camera. It's pretty straightforward. It's just like we did for the rest. And then I will again flip it over and do a top stitch. And then to do the last zipper, we're going to fold the exterior fabric in half, lining it up with the other zipper. And then we will place our fourth piece of lining on top of that. So make sure that all the sides are nice and lined up. If they aren't perfectly lined up, it's okay. There is a little bit of wiggle room, um, but it will make your box a little bit shorter because we will have to snip off the sides to make sure that it's nice and even. So after I've sewed that last zipper on, then when you want to do your top stitch, it's going to be a little bit more trickier. You're just going to need to unzip that zipper and then you can go ahead and do the top stitch. So at the bottom, of course, it is still attached. So just do it as you know, far as you can go. So now I'm going to work on the little tabs. So I took that little piece of fabric and I just fold it in half with the right size together and sew down that one edge. And then I will work with the handle. Of course, the handle is completely optional. Um, I did use a fabric that was four and a half by 11 inches. So just for reference, um, and then I just folded it until it was the width I liked. So I want it to be like one inch wide and I iron that into place and then I will sew um, down both sides just to make it look like it's a strap. And then that little tab piece I also will sew down both sides. So I just made these pieces really long. The tab piece here, um, it's long so I cut it so I can have two separate tabs. So um, it's just easier to just make one long one and then cut it to the size that you want. So now I'm going to be sewing the lining and I'm going to take two pieces of lining from the one zipper. I'm going to sew down one side, down the bottom and up the other side. And then I'm going to take the other two pieces of lining from the other zipper. And for this one, I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to sew down the edges a little bit on the bottom, but then I'm going to leave about a four or five inch gap. And I want it large enough so I can stick my hand in because that's what we're going to be using to turn our bag right side out. You will get a little close to that zipper, so try not to go over the zipper. Just get as close as you can when you are sewing the lining. So I just left my big gap there and then I will go back down and up the side and then just go as far as you can go. Um, it will seem a little weird that you're not sewing it all the way but that's totally okay because if there are any little holes or anything this next part will take care of those. So this is how it will look. Okay, so I'm just going to snip off some of the excess zipper, just on this one side. I'm not going to do the other side. Um, if you have a really long zipper, then, then you'll know what I mean. But this zipper pretty much fit perfectly. So now I'm going to sew the sides of the bag. And I cut little notches on the side of the bag just to make it make sure that it was nice and centered and then I'm going to t cut my tabs um, about two inches long so I have about five inches here so I just snip them to the size that I want them to be and then when we where we folded the bag that's where we're going to slip in these little tabs so I'll just fold them in half and then put the loop side to the inside of the bag so make sure all the raw edges are lined up and then I'll put a little clip there to hold it into place and then I did the exact same thing on the other side okay so once you have your little tabbies in place then we will work on sewing the raw edges or like closing up the side of the bag so first you will flip this upside down and we will sew along the raw edge up until this point. And then you will take it out of the machine, flip that lining, and then you will feel for the zipper and then sew along from the one zipper to the next, take it out, flip the lining again, and then finish 
on going to the rest of the edge of the bag and then you will do that on both sides so I'm just going to show you exactly what you need to do just because this part is um, can be a little bit hard to understand but you will have to take it out of the machine lock your stitches flip that lining over and then you're basically just stopping and starting where you left off we just don't want to sew the lining down because we want it to be able to hang at the bottom of your bag so I stopped right when I felt the end of the zipper and then I take it out again I don't even cut it I just leave it it doesn't matter we're not gonna see it it's gonna be in the inside and then continue on till the edge of the fold just like that and you're gonna do that on both sides so I didn't show you this part just because hopefully it's straightforward from here and then this is how it will be and now we will cut out some notches and this is what's going to make our bag into a box bag I'm going to measure one inch one and a half inches by one and a half inches um, up this like this <laughs> um, make sure when you do measure that one and a half inches you start on the seam not from the edge of the bag just because that seam is where you know if you want it to be even the seam is where the edge of the bag starts and then we will cut out all four of those notches so if you are making handles then you will need that handy because when we close up these holes you will be inserting your handle so on one side of the bag I'm just going to close them up like this and then put a little clip in it make sure that when you do put your handle in that you put your handle at the top of the bag and the top of the bag would be where your zipper zipper poles are so now I'm just going to take that little handle place it inside the bag and then line up the edge of the the raw edge of this handle with the raw edge of that notch basically and then when you go to put it on the other side make sure that the strap didn't twist on the inside of the bag and then you're just going to sew all four of those with a quarter of an inch seam allowance so just like that super easy I did all the other three off camera so after that then you will need to box out your lining and we're not going to do it the same way as we did with this one we're just going to um, take the corners of the bag and flatten them making the seam line up with the middle so you're going to make it like a triangle and then I measured about two and a half inches up the triangle um, if you want to draw a line across like I did you can for just a guide um, but you don't have to of course or you can use a disappearing ink pen and then it'll go away on its own so along that edge and you'll do that for all four corners of your two linings and then after you've sewn that little triangle you're just going to snip off those corners because you don't need that extra bulk inside your bag so I did those things off of camera also and then after you're done all four sides then you are pretty much done your bag then you can reveal if you actually did it properly which is very nerve-wracking um, <laughs> very nerve-wracking um, yeah so make sure that you did open your zipper a little bit for that particular pouch otherwise this part is going to be a little difficult but um, I open up the zipper all the way and then you will basically just birth your bag out of that lining hole <laughs> and then you're like what I did this in front of my husband and he was like what is that <laughs> and then I turned it right side out and he was like oh <laughs> well, 
like, yeah, cool, huh? <laughs> uh, anyways, so the lining, um, of course there's a hole in it, so you're just going to take that lining and then pull it tight and then, you know, the raw edges will fold in. Just do top stitch if you want to do it with a matching thread, that would be ideal, but I don't really care, so I just did it with a white stitch. It was fine, you won't notice it, it'll be inside. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and all that fun stuff. And if you would love to win this beautiful bag, then go over to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the socials, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.